Hey up, viewers and vieweresses! Welcome back to the mansion of this guy who I assume is called Mandus. For some reason I had a lag spike then, I hope that's not affected the footage. <laughs> I don't know. Brilliant start. As you remember, we were here, in this room which totally isn't creepy in any way at all. With all the stuffed animals, the strange creaky noises. God, what is that? Is that a tape here or something? No. It's a bit big for a... Oh, hello. You're an owl, or some form of predatory bird. It's the same painting again from before. Oh, hello. Open that. Oh, God, stop. I'm still trying to get used to some of the mechanics of this game. Because obviously, as I've said previously, I've never played Amnesia before. This is my first Amnesia game. Oh, hello. Butterflies. Looks like a fox hunt group. Okay. Can't go through there. Ugh. I hope that doesn't come to life, because that is just fucking weird. Alright. So what's through here, then? Oop. Open that. No, that's not opening. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's a door over here, isn't there? What do we got? Oh! Hello? What's this? Oh! Oh! Hey! What? It's coming through one of those weird moments again. Oh, lovely out here! What is there? A door. Another door. That's a stone. That's a bench. It appears to be a water pump. Okay. What have we got here? Another locked door. Okay. It would appear there is not really anything out here. So we have to go back. So there's another door that I missed. I... Oh, wait a minute. What's this over here? Is there something over here? No. Doesn't appear that there is. Okay. Back inside. Into the creepy room with all the stuffed animals. Yeah. Alright. What's with the freaky noises all of a sudden? I do not like that. Okay. So we're back in this giant dining room. Now. What am I looking for? Wait a minute, what's this? Did I come from here? No, I came from here. This is... Oh yeah, there's that weird, like, telephone machine. With that strange guy who was talking to us. And that takes us, yes, back into the main hallway. Right, so are we going this way then? One of those weird pig masks, which I do not like the look of. Seriously creepy. Is there something I've missed here? There must be. I don't know what else there would be. Right, so we're looking at. Oh, of course, yes. There is another door which I didn't explore, did I? Oh god, it's another long dark hallway. I do not like the looks of this. What was that? That was a note there. I thought I heard a breathing sound then. That was really weird. And creepy. December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor, the distinguished Professor A. Oh, so is this the professor whose voice we heard on that phonograph recording? He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me, to doff and wheedle, and, my dear sir, and, but you must still grieve, and, perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice, but to refuse. Have to simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. 
Perhaps I should show him the tripery, see whether his stomach so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily vivisected whores is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Doesn't sound weird at all. Hello. Another locked door, okay. What have we got through here? Another bathroom. And there's a paint. Stop with the fucking banging noises. It's freaky as hell. Jesus. Alright. Wait a minute. What's this? Ooh. Pull that. What did that do? Ooh. This guy has secret passages all over his house. Which is really fr Oh, God. What is this? What is this, seriously? Is that another bedroom? Which bedroom's that? Oh, okay. So what do we got? Oh. 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 No, I don't like this. <sighs> That's a closet, and I don't like the looks of that. What's this? Oh. This would appear to be some sort of chute for ch Oh, it was a conveyor belt. Okay. Ugh. A valve? Hold down left mouse and do a circuit. Okay. Same action as you rotate. What? What happened? God, there's a lot of machinery here. Is this the machine? Is this the machine for the piggies? Um, assume I'm going back. I'm not entirely sure what that really did, but... Okay. Sledgehammer! Can I pick that up? Evidently not. I would have felt very reassured if I could, but whatever. Why are the lights flickering? Why are the lights flickering? Got weird all of a sudden. What? 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 Hello? What was that? Hang on a minute, there is a bedroom here. Hands are bleeding, raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? What? I'm starting to think that this character is a bit mental. Turn on the lights. I like the lights. They don't provide much, but you know, in the way of illumination, but anything is better than nothing. Oh, look, we got more drawers. Is that another note? It is. Oh. Old Sally, I the doll's cottager. Oh, she came a-snuffling by night round ye door, with her pretty apron right down to the hoof, and her ringlets are fair and her eyes china blue, like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow, oh. Like a hand in the wintry snow. And she'll beg you for apples through the window ajar. Her face be all hidden, but her eyes shine aflame. And though you'll be tempted her bosom so fair, she'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart, oh. She'll catch you and eat out your heart. So look to your manners, come the eye, uh, the eve of the year even, lest Sally comes calling for apples, my dear, and to know that some doors ne'er should open wide. Take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her pies, oh. And warm Sally's beastly insides. So this sounds like a poem about a children's character who eats naughty children. I'm guessing. Go away. I don't like chairs. I like that. Well, I do like the chairs, but I like to throw them as well, so... Yes, we have another closet that doesn't open by the looks of it. A grandfather clock and a portrait which, judging from before, conceals a window looking in here. Because it would appear, I think, as I said, that this guy has a load of secret passages in his house. In which he can see... Oh! Wait a minute! 
Was this open before? I swore that was locked before, but... Yeah. We're back outside again. Okay. What have we got here? I'll admit, the atmosphere of this game is really tense. I am very on edge. Hang on a minute. We have been here. This is the room with stuffed animals, isn't it? Is it? What? Why is that not opening? There it is. Yes, this is definitely the room with the stuffed animals. It's brought us back round. Is this significant somehow? I keep getting this feeling that there's stuff that I've missed. Stuff that I've, like, wandered right by. Like maybe notes or other clues or what have you. So I'm just going to take a look around, because honestly, I feel like there's like elements of the story which I'm not quite getting. So is there anything at all? Huh. Okay, so we're back here in the hallway. God, don't like the noises. The noises freak me out, seriously. Okay, I, th I think I'm just wandering in circles now, aren't I? Okay, well, uh, tell you what, let, let us um, go back to the room with the stuffed animals, because I've got a feeling that that room is significant. No, that's not the right way. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> uh, this is it, isn't it? Through here. I think... Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Hang on, if that door over there unlocked before, what about this one? Cause I've got a feeling that other doors are going to unlock. No, that's not doing anything. Uh, fucking noises. Do not like them. That's still shut. Uh, oh! Hello. What is going on with the grizzly bear. I can do something, but what? Maybe... Oh! Hello! I can push this. <laughs> oh god. What have we got here? Something lovely, no doubt. Further machinery. Huh. Ah. Uh. Hello. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Another valve. Is there anything over here, though, just before we... I can hear something scribbling. Hang on, what if I check my journal? Wait a minute. Holy crap, I've got three entries which I've not even checked. What's this? The Weeping Rooms? Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe. The children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge there. Okay, Grand Hall. That voice on the telephone. Okay, right, so this is about this unidentified chap. He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin, pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If only I can find the entrances. Or if I can only find the entrances, even. On beds and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's house has many rooms, and as for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. Okay, yeah. So that's basically about this chap and his secret passages in his house. Okay, so are we turning this then? Turn that like that. I hate the noises. Be quiet, seriously. OK. 
Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a second. That owl statue was moved. Or the stuffed owl, even. How have you got there? You were in that corner, but... Oh, no, 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 no. What? Okay. Ooh, brave it, Andrew. Go on. Hello? Okay, leave that door. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'm not going near that. Okay. Are there monsters in this game? I don't actually know. Uh, I know that in the original Amnesia The Dark Descent there were monsters which could chase you around and kill you. But obviously I haven't seen anything yet in this one, so I don't really know. Right, so where am I going? What what was the purpose of those valves? I don't understand. Um, is there anything this way? No, this was the telephone room. Or telephone hallway. Wait a minute. Is that door open now? Oh, oh, hang got a whoa. Hold it. Hold it right there. Okay, I remember that was definitely locked before, so what is oh I am off the market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have is that a reference to that kid's nursery rhyme with the pigs? Ugh. I really do not like the looks of these passages. What's around here then? Something bad, no doubt. Oh, hang on a minute, I've been here. Oh, hello. It's opened up this area. So these two areas interlink. These areas with the valves. Yeah, I've been, so I have to go down the central catwalk. Okay. It's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. Kid. Fuck off. <laughs> no! I think my journal icon just flashed. Yes, we have a Another journal entry. Curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Phew. Okay. What have we got? Kid! Where did you go? Right. Oh, hello. Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? It's like a hidden section of the wall. What's this here? Uh, another locked thing. Oh, is that a truck? Can I go in the truck? Okay! Okay, okay. I heard that. I will leave the truck alone. If you don't want me to go in the truck, I won't go in the truck. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's another locked door. This looks like a factory. Oh. That looks like an early form of motor vehicle. Can I just, like, jump into the cab and just drive away and, like, be rid of this place. Can't I just escape? Well, evidently not. Maybe not. Uh, can I go through there? Oh. Oh. Come and see, Papa. We've found an egg. A stone egg. Uh, I don't think you have, kid. I think you've found something far worse. What have we got in here? Creaky and creepy. 
Oh. Well, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did the staircase collapse? Against the rising waters, planted the fingernails in flower pots all along the river when it's dark, so the sun could hatch them. All the world is an egg, he reasoned. We will grow hands now. Well, I have no idea what that's about. I hope you can uh, see this uh, screen, all you viewers out there. Because I know that when I reviewed my footage for like episode 1 or whatever it was, the loading screens get a bit glitchy for some reason with my fraps. I don't know if that's a result of my computer or whatever. Maybe my computer's not quite capable of handling this in its entirety, in like full smooth. Whatever. I, I, I'm starting to babble a bit now, because the tension is getting to me. Okay, I think I'll leave it here for episode 3, to be quite honest. So... <sighs> God. It's getting dark. How do I get... Ah, there's my lantern. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, God. I'm dreading where this is going. Because I've got a feeling it's going to get worse. But, you know what? You'll have to uh, wait and see in the next episode. And, uh, I really don't want to say anything else I want to get out of here now. So, this is General Red, signing off. Goodbye.